In this exercise, we're going to compare two of the lithologic modeling methods, lateral blending and lateral extrusion. Select the Lithology section option. Click the 2D Strip Log Designer tab. Turn off everything except for the title and lithology. Click the Section Selection Map tab. Select a cross-section traverse as shown within the previous exercises. Select and expand the Create New Model option. Set the new model name to lith1.rwmod. Click on the Modeling Options button. Select the Lateral Blending algorithm from the Modeling Options menu and press the OK button. Close the Options window and turn on the Plot Logs option. Click the Process button. We now have a lithologic section as interpolated by the Lateral Blending algorithm. Notice the zigzag correlations between the boreholes, suggesting random transgressions and regressions. Now, change the output model name to lith2.rwmod. Click on the modeling options again, and change the algorithm to lateral extrusion. After pressing the Process button, you should see a cross-section created by the Lateral Extrusion algorithm. Let's compare this with the Lateral Blending section. The Lateral Blending algorithm extrudes the lithology from each borehole to one-third of the distance to the closest neighboring borehole and randomizes the extrusion within the middle third. The lateral extrusion algorithm extrudes the lithology from each borehole to one half the distance to the closest neighboring borehole. Here are the same two sections, but with the plot patterns option in the previous menu enabled. So which algorithm is better? Both algorithms honor the control points by matching the lithology adjacent to the boreholes. But the transgressive-regressive zigzag within the lateral blending is more akin to classic hand-drawn or interpreted sections. But the extrusion algorithm, albeit ugly and probably less realistic, is the safer bet if your sections are being used within litigation where terms like randomization are very dangerous.